Hi, Mountain Mover boys and girls. Welcome to our online time together. Please know that the Mountain Mover leaders, Miss Debbie, and all the boys and girls, we are missing you. We're thinking of you and praying for you. And we're looking forward to all of us being together again, hopefully in the near future. Now last week, Allie was with me and we talked a little bit about soaping and we're gonna chat more about soaping today. And soaping is focused attention on our best friend, Jesus. But before we start on that, I want to remind you of something that I shared with you two weeks ago. When you or I or anyone says yes to Jesus and allows him to come in and be the forgiver, leader, and friend in our life, something very special and supernatural happens. He comes and lives inside of us by his spirit. And that is something only God can do. And so another way of saying is that he comes to live in our house. Jesus lives in our body. He lives in our house. So as we begin to talk about what focused time with Jesus looks like, remember that he is always with you. Whether you're focused or you're not focused, he lives within your house and he is with you. And let me give you an example of this. For many weeks now, we have been in our houses with our moms and dads and our brothers and sisters. They are always with us. We're always together. But I bet you have spent some special focus time together. You've eaten meals, you played cards, board games, maybe baked cookies together, and your parents have probably prayed with you. Those are special times. They're focused. When you experience how much they love you, how much they care about you, it grows your relationship with them and you feel very encouraged and it probably makes you smile when you spend that focused time with your family members. Well, it's the same way with Jesus. He is always with us. As I said, he lives in our house, but he invites you and he invites me to be in these focused, very special times with him where he can share with us how much he enjoys us, how much he loves us, and how much he wants to be with us and grow our friendship with him. And so what we're going to do is we are gonna shift to what that might look like in your life or in my life, and we're gonna talk about soaping. And remember, soaping is special focused time with our best friend, Jesus. Let's look at our paper to help us remind what those letters mean. S means scripture, O means observe, A, apply, and P, prayer. Soaping will kind of cleanse you of your worries and your fears and anything that bothers you. And one thing about soaping that's special is you need to be in a spot where you feel comfortable. Today, we're actually in Miss Debbie's house and she's in her favorite chair. She's got her favorite coffee mug with her. Here is her um, journal and her pen. And I have with me also the Bible from um, Mount Movers when we're together that we use. And so make sure you find a place that's special to you, whether it's a chair, it's outside, it's laying in your bed, and it needs to be a place where it's free of distractions. And like I said, I asked Allie, who was with me last week, to do a soap at home and then email me and tell me what it was like. And so here is Allie's email. I encouraged her to do the, the scripture in Colossians, which is written by Paul to his friends in Colossae. This is chapter three, verses one and two. So this is the S. You have been raised up with Christ, mountain movers. So think about things that are in heaven. That is where Christ is. He is sitting at God's right hand. Think about things that are in heaven. Don't think about things that are only on earth. So that was the scripture that Allie read. And oh, she observed this when she read that scripture. It's like what jumps out at you. It's what catches your attention. And she observed, raised up with Christ. We should think about heavenly things, not earthly things. So that's the observation that the Spirit allowed Allie to make. And then A means apply. What does that mean to me? What did that mean to Allie? And this is what she wrote. Jesus saves me. 
And although they are wonderful earth things, we should never forget that Jesus is our greatest gift and what's stored in heaven is much greater than any earthly thing. And so as Allie was in her special spot, spending time with Jesus, that is what he spoke to her. Something that she can remember and know that he wants her to know. And then last of all, she talked with Jesus. That's what prayer is, just talking, just like you and I are. And she did write her prayer down, like in a journal, um, like what I would do or what we're encouraging you to do. But she wrote it on her email, and this is what her prayer was. Dear Jesus, thank you for saving us, because without you, we are nothing. We would not be saved. And Lord, thank you for reminding us that there are great earthly gifts, but what you have in store for us in heaven is much greater than any earthly gift we have ever had. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's an example of Allie's soaping special focused time with Jesus. She used a journal, and I'm encouraging you this week to pick out a scripture and maybe go in Colossians where we've been studying and find a scripture in and do soaping and use a journal. And then what I'm going to encourage you to do is have your mom or dad help you email that to me like Allie did or put a small post of that on Facebook to let others know that you spent some time with Jesus this week and you soaked with him. So hopefully, Mount Movers, that helps you a little bit knowing what time with Jesus can look like. So let's close in prayer. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting you to know we're praying for you. And so when Miss Debbie prays today, she's actually going to pray for all of the fifth graders by name. And then next week we'll pray for the fourth graders and, and all the way down till we have prayed for all the Mount Movers by name. So let's talk to Jesus in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are thankful that Jesus is alive in us and we can talk with him and spend focused time with him. We pray that all of us, all us Mount Movers and leaders and parents, set our eyes and our heart on things above where Christ is seated and that we keep our eyes fixed on him. And I want to pray especially for our fifth graders by name. Riley, Jessa, Allison, Leon, Mylan, Emily, Jarek, Maya, Spencer, Braden, Joshua, Logan, Aiden, Darcy, Brady, Caleb, Madeline, and Jillian. Lord, we pray for all of those by name and all of the Mount Movers who are on this list. We know that you love them and want to spend focused time growing your friendship with them. In Jesus' name, amen.